in this section we are going to learn how to add a layout to our alignment and our drawing so before that we will see what is mean by a layout because we are designing a road with civil 3d in this whole exercise so before that we need to understand what is the layout so layout means the lay arrangement of the road so currently we only have the center line but in a road we have some other components so you can see here i have a sample image of a road so in the middle you can see the center line then from the middle you can see a yellow color line either side of the center line so these are called lane edges so this width from center line to this lane edge we call it the lane width so both sides we have lane widths most of the cases the lane widths are equal if it is a uh, two lane two way road so two lane two way means in one direction vehicle is going this way and on the other direction vehicle is coming from this way vehicles are going on two directions we call it two lane two way road so now we have two lanes and this is the lane width then after that we have another area uh, in this area is also completed with asphalt material the material the road is constructed here is asphalt so you can see this asphalt material which has extended somewhere beyond the lane edge in both sides so this area we call it as the shoulder so in both sides we have shoulders usually shoulder width is less than the lane width then then just after that we may have some other area sometimes we call it soft shoulder or sometimes we call it verge in this case uh, but it depends on the area so if you are uh, working in an urban area we might not have this type of shoulders or uh, verge instead we may have a footwalk so in our example we will be looking at a road like this a lane and a shoulder then we have a verge here so this is called lane width this is shoulder width and then we have the verge width of the verge then after that we may have a drain after that in the um, at the edge of the uh, verge maybe a, a drain most cases uh, there may be uh, concrete drains or other type of drains as well so we will move back to civil 3d to create the layout so when we are creating the layout what we do is we are demarcating this lane edge shoulder edge and uh, the verge in this case we are not going to create the verge but instead we will be doing lane edge and shoulder edge in both sides uh, we already have the center line so based on the center line we will uh, define these lane edges and shoulder edges so i will move back to civil 3d now now i am in civil 3d so before doing any uh, offset i have to select my center line alignment because we are creating the layout uh, based on the center line alignment so we are creating the layout using a method called offset alignments so i have selected my center line so then i go to offset alignment on the ribbon first we will mark our lane edges at both sides so you will get a window like this so you have from start to end we will have number of offset means number of lanes like that and let us say our width of the lane is 3.5 meters both side 3.5 meters so it will create a lane edge in both sides which is at a distance of 3.5 meter from the center line so the alignment offset offset alignment style this is also a, a alignment so this is the style of this alignment alignment is offsets and we don't add labels in this case now I'll click ok here so now you can see we have two offset alignments from the center line and they are at a width of uh, 3.5 meters 
so at this at this moment i'll press k and i will select the alignment and turn off these labels because it is kind of disturbing me at this case so i will select the alignment right click and go to alignment labels edit alignment labels and then go to import label set i'll click no labels so i will not see any labels now so this is how we create the lineages for our road design project so the beauty of offset alignment is they are dynamic to the center line alignment so if you are going to change the center line alignment you will see that our offset alignments is also changing with that uh, while maintaining 3.5 distance from the center line of the uh, road so let us say i am going to using this grip i am going to move this road towards this inside so you can see my offset alignment also moved you can see my offset alignment is moving so i'll undo until the last moment right so that is how to work with offset alignment now we have already created uh, our lane edges now i am going to create the shoulder edges so when you are creating the shoulder edges shoulder edge is one meter away we are assuming that shoulder has a width of one meter so it is one meter away from this left shoulder left lane edge and uh, one meter away from the right lane edge so to create the shoulder edge i'll click this one the left offset alignment from that left offset alignment i will create another offset alignment so it is automatically giving some names for the offset alignment so we don't have to and rename them because they are kind of logical names so when we are having when we are creating the shoulder for the left side we don't need to have a shoulder on the right side because it is inside the lane we are going to uh, on the outside of the lane so my right side i don't have any offsets right side so on the left side i will have one offset and the width is one meter and the label style is same so i click ok now you will see one meter offset line so in the same way you can do to the right side i'll do it quickly now my both sides have completed so they will be dynamic to this center line so if i move this line you will see everything moves accordingly because they are dynamic to each other right so again now i am going to turn on my labels right click edit alignment labels i'll turn on my labels major and minor geometry points the one we used earlier and click ok so what i what i am going to do now is i am going to increase the width of this road here so that i am assuming that we have a kind of a bus bay here so to do that what i do is i will select this shoulder line because i am widening the shoulder so i'm selecting this shoulder line and here i have something called add widening so i'll click this add widening and it is asking on the command line is it a new alignment or uh, part of the same alignment so i'm not going to create new alignment so i click no here so it is asking from where you need to create this widening so i'm starting this widening from station 150 here so if you have object snaps turn on here yeah, object snaps turn on with endpoint snap or maybe the intersection is snap as well so you will kind of get the 150 station easily so i click here then it is so i'll click here so i click here and get that station now it is asking what is your end station so in station i will be 
selecting as 170 20 meters away from this one this location 170 i click here so it is asking enter the widening offset widening offset means from this point actually not this point this widening is based on this area this offset alignment this is already one meter let us assume that we need two meters for the bus bay or the bus stop so altogether this widening would be three meters so my widening is three meters and i press enter so what happens is now we have a bus bay and it automatically applies some kind of uh, transitioning because the width is going to be changed so you can uh, change the transition if you like otherwise you can keep it as it is so for the moment i am keeping it as it is for the sake of easiness of the project so i click close here and escape now you can see our road is one side of the road is widening for a bus bay so if you like you can add other bus bay on the other side as well so this is our layout for the road now we have lane edge shoulder edge and also we have a bus bay with a widening at the shoulder edge now we are not going to add the verge here at this moment but if you like you can add the verge. so in the next section we will starting a new part which is creating the uh, corridor and using the assemblies